Hello, this is Chris Menard. Microsoft Outlook has a new feature. You can now create a poll right inside of an email. So I have Outlook running on the desktop version. Uh, one thing I want to point out, I have two Outlook accounts. I've got my Microsoft 365 Home account, which is the live account. also have my business account right here. I could only get this to work with my business account right now. So here I go, my inbox, new mail message. Uh, let me go ahead and put this. I'm going to send this to myself so you can see how this works. Subject is going to be test on Sunday. So here we go. Click inside the body of the message, insert tab at the top. If you look at the insert tab, I have the third option over. Poll. This is a Microsoft Forms poll. So when I click it, this is pretty cool. It's going to give me the options of do you want to do a true and false question or yes and no question? Or do you want to do multiple choice? So if I want to do a true and false, um, I'm just making that up. That would be yes. And that would be no. Multiple answers obviously would not be turned on. Insert poll into email. One thing I need to tell you about is if you're the creator of this, how will the recipients vote directly in the email or on the web? Perfect. Got it. If you're the creator, it shows this way with just a link to view or vote in the browser. Microsoft is working on this showing up for me inside the email. But the good news is this, if I send this email out, so again, I'm sending it to myself. The people that receive it will actually see the poll, but they're working on the person creating it, seeing it while they're working on it. So are you working from home next week? I'm going to answer yes, and I'm going to hit vote, and then I can do view results, which actually shows me already. There's a refresh right there. The other feature that they're working on fixing, though, is right now I could come in here and vote multiple times. As you see, I've got two votes. One more time. They're working on fixing that. So this is a new feature that just came out. So the two things they're going to fix is you're going to be able to keep it only one vote per person. And the second item is when I send this off or I create it, you'll be able to actually view it. Now, if you're wondering how does it look if you go to Microsoft Forms to see this, because you can still get the results in Forms. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. Oh, I tested this also. If you get this... Notice this, if you get this, I am an Outlook on the web, same email I just sent, look, you can still vote and you still see it with Outlook on the web, which I think is pretty cool. So now if I go to forms, there it is right there. If I click it once, this quick poll form is read all and can't be edited. I just wanted to let you know that. So there you go. That is Microsoft Forms. I'll put a link to this blog post that they wrote where I found this at. Uh, it just came out recently, July 2020. And there's the information about the availability. So make sure you have a Microsoft 365 subscription. And the other one is make sure you're on Windows version 2004. If you press the Windows key and type in W-I-N-V-E-R, W-I-N-V-E-R, press enter. That's going to tell you what version you have. So Windows version 2004 build, 2004. So I've got a higher build, so I'm okay. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm in the process of moving, and hopefully next week I'll have my studio hooked up with my professional mics and all that again. Thank you. Bye.